Duke and Sammy O Squad back at again with another video here today, man. And we're gonna be talking about the training variety pack method that I use to get my cards, get rid of my cards, and then just make the most coins back that you can from this pack. Because again, when this pack started off, I had about six million coins. Now I'm rocking around almost 19 mil. I've got like 380,000 training on me, probably a few, like maybe three or four LTDs in my binder, and maybe like one to two mil in cards just chilling in my binder, man. I made over 15 mil from this pack. But thing that you have to realize, it is luck based. It's a pack and Madden Ultimate Team. Any pack you pull in this game, there is no pack that is a coin making method. These are all luck based methods, but there are ways that we can counteract the luck by doing certain sets, by selling certain cards, and just being patient. And it's a grind. I mean, I'm telling you guys, it's a grind. You guys know me. I don't spend money. I try not to give EA money. I pull bundles on special occasions. Like when the game first came out, uh, my one year on YouTube, and I the most recent thing that I paid money for was a $5 weekly elite pack that you guys wanted me to pull so badly on stream. So again, I haven't spent money on this game, I feel like, in like two months. So I've made a lot of coins strictly from grinding. It is, you can do it. It is possible. It takes a lot of grinding. You got to do stuff right. We're going to talk about that in the video. But before we do, make sure y'all are smashing the like button, hitting the sub button if you haven't, man, because a lot of y'all watch the videos and haven't hit the sub button, man. What the heck are you doing? Hit the sub button. And also put on post notifications, man. Join the Noti gang, light up the comment section, and let me know down below. Do you like this pack or do you not? Because again, a lot of you guys love it. Some of you guys don't like it. I'm one of the people that love it because again, I've made so much off of it. And I'm going to show you guys today what I do. So also in the description, I'm going to try and like leave like a set of like what I'm talking about at certain times. So if you do want to come back to this video and rewatch it and you only want to see like a certain part, I'm going to leave like certain parts with certain times. So you just go look in the description. You can find it. So one thing I almost forgot to mention that I had to put into the video is that I've just been pulling this training variety pack on Thursday through Sundays. Whenever there's an LTD, I haven't really been messing with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for some of you guys that might be curious again. I like pulling when there's LTDs. When there aren't LTDs, I usually just go with other packs and explore around. So usually this is a method that I use for Thursday through Sunday. So just keep that in mind. The first thing that we are going to be talking about in today's video is going to be what cards to get and like how to get them. So I'm going to pull up the Madden Companion app because again, guys, I don't buy stuff on the Xbox. It's like the Xbox is just too slow. I sometimes just can't snipe stuff. It's just weird. So I'm pulling up the Madden Companion app right now. Again, this is something you can get on your phone. Um, I have an uh, iPhone, so I just get in the App Store. I think you get it in an Android too. But So I'm going to pop this hopefully on the screen. All right, so we're on the app. So what we do is go to the search bar. Again, I have some pin stuff that I go usually search. Ooh, 133. Again, I'm trying to get these cards for around 140 and under. Again, the app makes this so much easier to do. 136 i'll even take that too so this is how i get my cards so what i do is usually on saturdays ultimate legends are down i was getting 96s for like 170 180 i was getting 95s for 130 um when i'm anyway when it's not saturday that was lucky i got some ultimate legends right there um i usually go mutt heroes let's see the mutt heroes real quick have the oh 127 let's go hey see this is what i'm saying man this is easy this is how i get all my 95s you guys ask how do you get your cards I literally just sit here and do this. It's easy. You don't have to be like on your Xbox or anything. You can literally be like, oh my gosh. I, I didn't even plan for this to be this long, but I mean, we're. I'll take all these cards. I'll even take the 131. All right, we're gonna stop. I'm gonna stop buying cards. I'm gonna stop buying them. That was just a an instant where I just, I had to. Then if nothing is showing up there, I'll just go by position. I'll take off the Mud Heroes and I'll just go QB, 94 to 95. And what I'll do is I'll just scroll down here all right, I have to buy it. <laughs> I have to buy it. Rich Gannon for 132000 All right. So, and then I'll go to just running back, and I'll just filter through all the positions, and I'll just search. This is how I get my training, guys. Dude, what is going on? And why are all these cards going for so cheap? This is Ricky Williams. I just seen one sold for 178 and I just got one for 128 All right. All right. I'm done buying, but you guys get the gist. 94 to 95 Mud Heroes, offense, defense. 94 to 95 Ultimate Legends, offense, defense. And then I just go by every position, offense, or every position 94 to 95. So I'm going to stop before I just like spend a couple mil in the video. Um, Again, I should be able to pop that on the screen for you guys to just witness what I just did. So now let's back out. It just took out all my coins and it's going to start giving me all the stuff that I just bought on the app, right? So we have all this stuff. 
All right, so that is how I get my cards. That is how I get my training for these rerolls. I'm just gonna skip all of that so we don't have to look at that. So that is the first thing. The next thing is gonna be actually re-rolling the training that we get. So I'm just gonna do a 50K, just a quick 50K reroll. So once we get down to 383, um, I'm just gonna fast forward this. I just want some example cards, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, so now we're on to our third step, and yes, Dante Trashcan popped out in my little tutorial on this pack. He had to pop out, just show his face. Dante Trashcan, man, you know him. So we're on to our third step. This is gonna be like what cards to quick sell. So normally in my videos, I just go to newest because I wanna keep like the cards that I just pulled from the cards that I pulled previously. But when I'm just like by myself re-rolling, I always go quick sell first because I just, what I do is I just go down the line. So I have quick sell value, I go down. So 95, so first I guess I should say what cards you're holding, what cards you're quick selling. So 82 to 87s, I'm gonna stress this a lot. You hold 82 to 87s, do not quick sell them. If you quick sell them, you're losing, you're losing coins. That's probably how a lot of people lose coins on this. You quick sell your 82s through 87s. Do not do it, I'm gonna show you guys the sets to do later. So hold those. 88 to 89s recently I've been quick selling because a lot of them just go for market value or they might go for like 1,000 coins more and I'm just like at that point I'm just gonna quick sell and keep rolling some 88s do go, go for a little bit more like Chiefs guys the Packers guys um, probably the Browns guys they're probably going in the up, upper 20s just because of those team diamond 2.0 sets now, I will be telling you guys about that later but again 88s and 89s I usually am just discarding um, once you get to 90 and 91s, I used to discard those, but now with the Team Diamond 2.0 sets, which again is a big factor in this video, um, the 90 to 91s, I hold those and I will check them. Majority of them, I know the prices for them, but I would check them, especially if you're new to this, just check all 90 and 91s like while you're re-rolling on the app or after you're done, you can just go check them. But again, um, 90 to 91s, if a 90 is going for 40K and up, you sell it. Because again, market value for a 90 is like probably like 35K. So if it's anything more than that, I would just sell it. 91s, it's like if it's going for like, you know, 45K and up, I'll just sell it. If not, I'll quick sell it. But we'll get into that later. 92 pluses I quick sell. So as you can see, again, here are all the 95s that I bought in this video. I'm just going to quick sell them because again, they're 95s. I quick sell them. Hold Donovan McNabb. I'm going to quick sell them. Um, here's my 91s, my 90s. I hold on to these because again, you could use them in the Team Diamond 2.0s or you could sell them. So I will be talking about that later. Again, I'm going to try and repeat a lot of this stuff just to get it like stuck in your head because again, you got to repeat things so you can remember it. So Chiefs guys, Packers guys, this Marvin Harrison sometimes goes for a little bit more. So I always keep him as well. But 87s, we keep these. 86s, we're going to keep them. 85s, 84s, 83s, 82s, we keep them. So we're just going to skip through these and go to the jerseys because, again, that's the last thing we are looking for to quick sell. So, again, that's a lot more training than what I actually got in the reroll because, again, I had all those extra 95s that I bought on the and live. I bought them live. So we'll discard those. Again, what I do is I always – I'll discard all my training cards. Um, I'll keep my coin quick sells, which I didn't get many of them. I keep those until I'm done re-rolling. So I have 583,000 training. I would go re-roll that. I'd come back, do the same thing. Quick sell all the cards that I quick sell, then go re-roll again. Come back, quick sell all those cards again. Go re-roll, come back. And once I'm finally done with all my training, then I quick sell all my coin quick sells because again, it's just more fun. You get to see like hundreds of thousands of coins being quick sell rather than just like these few quick sells that I have. I don't even think I have any 1K. Okay, I have one 1K. All right, we quick sell those. So those are all the cards that you quick sell. Now we're gonna get into the next step, which is what sets to do. So there's gonna be the big baller sets, the ones for the people who are like me, who are re-rolling this millions of thousands, of, or I said millions of thousands, bro. What am I saying, man? Millions and millions of training into this pack a weekend. Or there's some people that just only roll like 100K, a couple hundred K. There's two different sets that we're gonna be talking about. The big ballers could do all of them. Little ballers, you guys could do um, just some of them. But no matter who you are, you're going to want to pay attention to this portion. So we're going to go to the sets. Um, the big ballers, we'll start with you guys first. Team Affinity, 
you guys can do the Team Diamond 2.0s. Now, again, there's certain sets that do go for a lot more and you get a lot more profit. Um, I'm going to, excuse me, I'm going to talk about those in the video. I have some graphics to show you guys. So there are certain ones that you want to be doing. Like the Browns guy, this guy usually sells a lot and you can make some profit. Um, Lorenzo Neal, I have cards in there. Eric Berry. So what you guys need, you're going to need probably, you know, the team of the year card. You're going to need some 90, 90 pluses, and you're going to need some 85s. Now, this is the reason why we keep a lot of our 85s and 87s and 90 and 91s, because you can put them in here. And some of these cards are super inflated right now because of these sets. Like some of them go for a lot more. Like the Browns guys, let me see if I have any. I could just show you straight up. Okay, so I don't have any. So like these guys, they're going for 25K for a Browns guy. Like, I don't even, dude, I don't even see. Like, 87, like, they're going, the 85 Jarvis you could pull out of that pack. These guys are going for 25K. So there's no point in, you know, putting them into sets or quick selling them because you can get 25K out of them. Now, I'm going to explain this later. I have a bunch of graphics that will make this a lot clearer for you guys. But again, Team Diamond 2.0. So if you're a big baller, work on these. I'm going to show you the ones to do. I'm going to show you some graphics. That's going to be the first set of sets. Now for little ballers and big ballers too, because this goes for all of you then. Um, 91 overall team builder fantasy packs. These are pretty good just to get rid of cards and then get your coins back. Because you can like break even on this pack and you can get rid of 12 cards for one card. That will sell, especially if you choose the ones that are super like rare for the Team Diamond 2.0. Like the Browns, the Chiefs, the Cowboys. Like those guys, they're going for like 60, 70K and they will sell. So you can do this set. Get rid of 12 cards, and then you can sell for one card. That's a really good set to do. Team standouts. This is a really good set to do to get rid of Team of the Week cards. Now, I'm not going to show you the ones that I do specifically. You guys are going to have to find that out on your own. But a lot of these 95s go for 200K+. Plus. And I'm telling you, there's at least four of them that I do that go for 200K+. Plus. So you go and do this. You get rid of 26 cards this way. And for how much this costs, like 290s, get these for 35K each. That's 70 the 86 is you can get these for 9k each so this would be what um 72 so 140 and then the 82s you can get these for 3k so 140 this ends up coming out to about probably like 180 185 ish to get it done and that's like if you're buying all the cards off the auction block this is you're pulling them out of a pack so you have to take after tax prices and stuff like that so again 180 185 you get you can sell these for like 210 I'm not saying this Jarvis Landry specifically, but you can sell some of these for 210. It's a really good way to make like 10, 15K, but also get rid of 26 cards for one card. So that's a really good set as well to do. Again, used to be able to make a lot more profit before, but you can't as as much as before. Um, even some of these 92 sets, these are good as well. You know, depending on if these cards get upgrades, again, there's 78s in this one though, which is kind of annoying. So not the best sets to be doing. Um, let's see. Team Builder. No, not the Team Builder. Another good set to do is the 89s. Again, these are take some gold cards as well. So you can't get these in the team standout, but just to highlight this William Jackson, really good set. Check it out if you have those cards for that because he sells for a lot. So that's a few sets you can do with the tra training variety packs that I usually use to exchange my cards that I get from those packs. Um, another really good set that you guys should look into doing is this one and it's all three of these have these 87 there's two chiefs and one browns now the chiefs and browns these guys are selling for like 20 to 25k per 87 you can get rid of four gold cards um 382s that you can get from the training variety and then 283s or 84s you can get from the training variety pack now this is a really good set that if you're doing team diamond 2.0s the browns or the chiefs or if you just want to get rid of what is it nine cards for the price of one you're going to make like 2K on this set. It doesn't sound like a lot, but getting rid of nine cards for one is really good, especially when your binder is filling up. So this is a really good set to do. These cards will sell. This guy, the guy in here, the guy in here, they will sell. So this is another good set to do. Ghost cards. You can do these sets too. Oh my gosh, I'm starting to run out of breath, bro. Um, I pulled Alvin Kamara 95 out of this Ghost of Madden present pack. You can pull the full Ghost guys out of these sets. It's really hard. Trust me. I pulled hundreds of these. I swear I pulled hundreds and I pulled one Kamara. So don't expect that. But there is the possibility that it's in there. You can use, you can get all these cards from the training variety pack and put them in here. And you can sell the card out of it. You can quick sell the card for training out of it. 
it's really up to you. Another decent set, you can do any of those Ghosts of Maddens. Um, again, any time that a card gets an upgrade and it has a set that you can do in here, like when there was Allen Robinson, um, when Night Train Lane had an upgrade, like you just have to focus on those sets in particular. Again, the market is always changing. And I got to mention, with these Team Diamond 2.0s, the market is always changing, bro. Sometimes, like, I did, I forget who it was. If it was the Des Bryant, I, like, did the Des Bryant, sold one for 800, sold his power for 200. Like, a few hours later, his eight, his 98 was selling for 700, and his power was selling for 150. So, you kind of just got to be careful with these, but I've been doing these. I've been, like, just doing them to get rid of cards, a bunch of cards, and also get a bunch of coins back. So, again, big ballers, you might want to focus on that. So, that is going to be the sets. Now, the next part that I'm going to get into is going to be a kind of confusing part, but I made graphics to kind of explain, you know, what I'm trying to talk about. So, let's get into it. So, sell these cards is the title of this, um, this graphic that I made. It's, again, it's nothing too crazy. I just made this to make it a bit more clear. So, I don't know why I put 80, 85 to 89. It should just be 85 to 87 or 88 maybe. But these are cards that you want to sell. Now, going back to these Team Diamonds, let's go Team Diamond 2.0s. Um, back to these Team Diamond 2.0s, when I showed you guys the Browns guy, he's going for 25K. The 85 Jarvis is going for 25K. This is showing you guys the teams. I needed a graphic for this for myself because when I'm exchanging 85s and exchanging stuff like that, I needed to know like what teams go for a lot. These are all the teams that go for a lot that you might just want to sell on the auction block. I would not put them into any of the team builders, the team standouts. Um, you can't put them in the Team Diamond 2.0s if you're doing it because that's just how much they cost. But the Browns, Cardinals, Chiefs, Cowboys, all that stuff, etc. These guys all sell for like 15K plus for their 85s and 87s. So you might just want to sell those. I wouldn't exchange them. Now I put 90 plus overall teams. You want to check every 90 and 91 just because for whatever reason, you know, they'll be up, they'll be down, but usually you can sell them for more than what you should be quick selling them for. So 90s and 91s, just always check their price before you quick sell them or exchange them. Check their price, you might wanna just sell them. Just putting that up for you guys. Now we get into the do sets with these. So when I was talking about, let's go back to this set over here. When I was talking about the team builder set, it's 91 overall, you need 85s for this set. This is where I always would get confused. I would go into here and I'd be like, okay, time to put my 85s in. Oh wait, which ones go for a lot and which ones don't go for a lot? Because I could be putting like a brown, I could be putting where's Jarvis at? Um, Hopkins, Kelsey, like the Chiefs, the Cardinals, Jarvis. If I put these guys into this set, that'd just be a big L on my part. I would have just put in Travis is probably 15, D Hop's probably 15. Jarvis is 25 so that would have been 55k just for those three cards and then that's already almost exceeding how much the set goes for you want to know what teams go for the cheapest amount which is why I had these teams these teams all go for about 10k and under maybe 11k and under so they're really good if you want to put these guys into sets like the team builder the team standouts you know these are the good teams that you should be exchanging or putting those cards in so again, if this doesn't make sense to you guys, like I know it probably doesn't, I'm just hoping that this helps a few of you guys out because again, these are the teams that if you're exchanging with the team, I'll show you guys here, let me go back to this. If you're exchanging in this set, if you're exchanging in this team standout set, 95. If you're even doing the, the ghost set, you need 85s for the ghost set. Do not put Browns players, you know, do not put Cardinals players, Chiefs, Cowboys, Eagles, 49ers, this stuff. Do not put them in there because you're going to be losing a lot of coins doing that. Again, we got to be smart when we're doing sets. We got to be smart when we're doing all this stuff. Again, there's a lot of stuff that comes into this. Now, my last graphic, or almost last graphic, these are profitable Team Diamond 2.0 sets that I found personally by myself that I've done, I've made coins on. And I'm going to show you guys a graphic on how I figured all this out. Um, Broncos, Bucks, Chargers, Cowboys, Falcons, Rams, Seahawks, Steelers, Texans. Now, again, I already said the Team Diamond 2.0 sets vary. Like, they always are going up, down. You know, some might be profitable that I'm not showing. But when I looked and I did the math, they weren't profitable. But again, these things switch all the time. So just be careful when you're doing those. I even made a graphic. You guys are probably like, what the heck did he just put on the screen? I made this. So I did this in Excel. 
I have it so I can like change, like I could change prices and it'll change like the after, it'll change the totals and stuff. And like on the far left, you could see profit. No, no, no. For those teams. Yes. For the Broncos. Yes. For the Bucks. Yes. For the Chargers. So I show like the special card you have to put in the totals for the, the full total for the set, the full power up cell, the 98 cell, the totals for that. Then the after tax profit is on the far right. So that kind of shows, you know, if it's no profit or yes profit. So again, this is how I did my math. I'm going to be upgrading this. And whenever I do an update for you guys and I include Team Diamond 2.0, I'll probably show you guys updated of this graphic. But this doesn't really matter. All that matters is this were the profitable teams from this graphic. Um, these were the 80, 85 to 87s that you should be using in other sets. These are the ones you should be selling. If you have these teams, 85 to 87s, just sell them. One, another thing I almost forgot to mention is that, guys, power-ups are a thing. You got to sell your power-ups. I hate to say it, and I hate to be that guy. Again, a lot of you guys probably quick-sold your power-ups before, but quick-selling them is a big fat L. Again, one time on stream, I quick-sold 100 power-ups, and I think I got 2,500 training for 100 power-ups. That equates to, what is that, like an 88 overall? I think that's an 88 overall. 88 overalls go for 15K, guys. You can sell your power-ups. They're going for 3K. They're going for 2K. Even if they're going for 1K and you sell 100 of those power-ups, and again, use the Madden Companion app. It's super easy to quick sell your power-ups on the Madden Companion app. You could sell multiple at a time too. So again, just do it when you're not even playing or you're just like watching TV. So you can sell these things for a lot. Again, this one, even 2K, like even 1K, guys, if you sell 100 power-ups for 1K, that's 100K. You're making yourself... 85,000 coins. This is another big thing that has led to a lot of my profit from this pack is that I actually sell my power-ups. Now again, a lot of them are going to go for 1k, but you start to figure out the ones that do go for a lot, aka the ones that are like, you know, 81s, those go for a lot. Um, let me see. There's a few others again, you know, Revis I think might go for a little bit extra 6k like, dude, you'll go and you'll find cards that go for 5k. Like, there's a lot. Sebastian Janikowski, he's a 2, 3K, 6K. Like, just sell these. Do not discard these. You're missing out on a lot of coins. Just wanted to mention that to let you guys know. Um, a lot of you guys are probably probably confused. Um, I'm hoping some of you guys understood a lot of the stuff that I said. But now we're on to the final thoughts. The thing about this pack, guys, like I said, man, it's, it's a complete random. It's luck. But I don't even want to call it luck when I've made... 15 to 20 mil off of it like i've probably made 15 mil off this pack and i don't know how many it's been out for a while but 15 mil is not like an easy number you just have 50 you just got 15 mil it's not an easy number to just be like oh that's a luck it's a luck pack but it's not a coin i'm not going to call it a coin making method because i feel like if i say that a lot of you guys are going to go out and just sell your teams you know do buy a bundle and just like quick sell it and just like pull the pack like don't do that like grind your coins up, keep your team. I don't know why I didn't say this at the beginning of the video. Never, ever sell your team for packs. That is, I'm gonna be making a pack addiction video for you guys soon. Never sell your team. That is the worst, bro. When when you sell your team and then EA gets you after you sold your team and they steal all your coins, that has got to be the worst feeling, bro. It makes you want to bang your head against the wall, bro. It really does. So never ever sell your team. I know it might be hard because you're like, oh, I can like sell my team and make a bunch of coins and I could just buy a whole better team. That's not how it works all the time. And especially when a pack is based on luck, you don't want to be doing that. So again, just take all the stuff that I told you guys and try and use it, especially this weekend when LTDs are coming out. You know, do what I said about buying cards on the app. You know, 95 overalls, 96 Ultimate Legends on Saturday. Um, set prices for yourself. I did 140 and under. On the app, I was able to buy these things. I could show you guys right here. If it doesn't, let me put the video up for whatever reason. Uh, my bids. Uh, newest. 130, 123, 127, like I got them for dirt cheap. And that was just me just checking randomly when I'm recording a video. So guys, that's just my filters that I use. So again, that's how you get the cards. Rerolling the cards, I skipped over it, but again, rerolling, you guys see it in my videos every time I reroll, so I don't gotta explain that to you. Um, but what I do do is reroll the cards, um, go quick sell them in my binder, then reroll again, quick sell my binder, reroll again, do kind of do like that, 
And then what cards did quick sell? 82 to 87, do you hold? 88 to 89s, you might want to quick sell. You might want to check the prices first, but those are usually quick sellable. 90 to 90 ones, you want to check the prices because of the Team Diamond 2.0 sets. Some of them go for a lot. Some of them go for like 60K for a 90, and that's like crazy. Like Aaron Rodgers, Den or Denzel Ward, maybe. Um, Raiders guys, they go for a lot. So 90 to 90 ones, check the prices. 92 pluses, I usually quick sell. So that would be, you know, what cards to quick sell, what sets to do. Just real quickly, I'm doing this quick, just a quick little recap. Again, big ballers, Team Diamond 2.0s, you can work on these. Everybody, you could do the Team team Standout 95s. You could do Team Builder 91s. Some people have told me that this is another good set to do, the 86 Team Builders, just because, again, certain teams go for a lot because it's considered an 85 to 89 for the Team Diamond set. So you could work on this 86 Team Builder Fantasy Pack. Um, What's it called? Even this 89, there's a few 89s that go for a lot. A few 92s that go for a lot if you have the cards for that. Um, playoffs. The 87s in all three of these, they're really good. Like the 87s in these are really good to get rid of golds and low elites. Um, the Ghost of Maddens. I almost forgot about the Ghost of Maddens. You can get full Ghost of Maddens out of these packs. They're really, really hard to get. But they're there. You can also get, you know, high overall 94, 93, and 92s from these sets too. So good pack to run to get rid of cards. But again, those are all the sets you want to be doing. Um, and, you know, the selling of the cards, guys, these graphics I made, they might have confused you guys a little bit, like all three of these. But I just wanted to, like, put it out there for people that might use them. Because me personally, I needed to know what 85s go for a lot, like what teams do, so I don't put them into sets by accident. Um, these are the teams you want to be putting into sets because they don't really matter. They don't go for a lot. These guys go for a lot. You don't want to put them in sets. Like I'm trying to make it as easy as possible. These set, these sets go for a lot. So you might want to work on these big ballers. And here's the graphic that probably gave you guys a migraine, but again, it helped me figure a lot of stuff out and I had fun making it. So that's going to be all for the video guys. If you have questions, I'm going to try and answer them, but I've really put everything into this video that I can. That's everything I do. That's literally everything. Like, you guys have my whole blueprint. Samuel's blueprint is out. You guys got it. That's everything I do for the pack. That is how I made all my coins, man. I've made probably 15 mil plus. I got to take a sip, bro. My mouth is dry, man. I've been talking for a while. So, again, that's it. That's all I got to show you guys. Hopefully this helps you out. You know, if you have questions, I'll try and answer them. But make sure you guys are hitting the like button, hitting the sub button, putting on post notifications. I hope one of these sections helps you out. Again, I'm going to put them in the description if you in the time. So if you want to go back and look at them, you can. But I hope each of these sections, like, or I said sessions, these sections helps you out in some way, shape, or form when you're pulling this pack. Hopefully you guys make some coins. You know, let me know what you're getting from these packs this weekend. I hope we all get a bunch of LTDs, man. Again, my record's 25. I'm going to try and break it again. Again, I didn't pull as much last weekend, but I'm going to try and break it this weekend. We will see. But again, guys, that's going to be all for the video. So I'll see you guys in the next video or stream, man. It has been real. It has been long. Hopefully helpful too. Peace.